Hi there fishing buddies, uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, let's see what we're in store for today. Take care all. Fishing buddies, right we're off to a place called Trent Vale, we're going to try and get a pike, um, probably using dead bait um, and a rod. There's plenty of bream in here, tench, perch, roach, so plenty of going to bag up, hopefully. Uh, cars all to get it out. Thanks for ever so much for Kev coming picking up this morning, bless him. So uh, let's get down there so we can catch some fish. Take care of. <laughs> um we've come down to Trent Vale. This is Trent Vale. Kevin's over here. Get thumb stuck up, waiting for Phil to turn up. It's my setup here, look. Get a film ready, pipe rod ready, get a film ready. What I'm fishing today is on Waggler, I'll show you that in a second. So I'm using normal rod as usual. On Waggler. Shot that. Another shot there. And then down to a number eight shot, it's four pound line. Number eight, drop a shot, like I always use, in a 20, size 20 hook. Three pound bottom, so see if we can catch some rod. Fishing buddies, right, having a bit of um, trouble because it's raining, trying to keep everything dry. But fishing over there, a bit waggler, got waggler on, and uh, see if we can get a few, like I said, roach and whatever else. Uh, everything's set up to hand, nice and comfy, everything's set up. Kev's uh, carrying my stuff from car blessing, thank you Kev. And uh, let's see if we can catch some fish. Like I say, I'm on Waggler. Keep casting across in Twink Lilies. Plumbed up, it's about six and a half foot, seven foot. About an inch and a half off bottom. Just keep putting a few maggots around it. Put a bit of ground bait down. And uh, We'll see if we can get these rud. There's definitely rud in here. There you go, folks, gone. That's a better fish. Uh, Kev, nearly called you Phil then. <laughs> Still can't get away from him. Let me take him off. And I'll show you. There you go. Lovely roach. It's like I always say in my videos, I'm going to have a bit of time to myself, see what's going off, or what crack is, as I say, and uh, see how they're feeding. We're lucky the sun's just come out, because it's been raining, so we'll start recording. It's not a single white maggot at the minute, like that, we'll try it double, try it double. And then uh, might have a bit of bread on there a bit. Forget a rod, so we can get some bream. There's some nice, some nice bream in here. I say keep firing it out, casting it out, sink line. A few maggots around it, straight into a fish. Look. <laughs> yeah, I've got number eight. Drop a shot. There you go, another, another roach, roach. Yeah, single white maggot, mate. You can see me flow. It's dotted right down. I like to dot it right down with number eight drop shots. So I'm still plodding away on Waggler. Um, Catching roach. I've had, I think I've had one perch, all the rest have been roach. No rudder minute. Uh, Kev's tracking fish, so not seen a pike or anything yet. Uh, seems to be totally different to when I fished it last year. Don't know why, but usually I've had a few bream or some different species. Just keep getting bites on to drop. So 
So yeah, it seems a bit just dropped off a bit. I've got a few fish bits dropped off. Still that single maggot. Just putting it out. I've tried bread flake as well, not having anything on bread flake. Need a pick Mr. Bright here, look. Mr. Bright straight away. Yeah, it's the busting end of maggot. Just come back to the fish. Duck saying no you're not mate. <laughs> Duck's la even Duck's laughing at me. Some of the fish are taking it as it's on drop going down. Feeding odd few maggots around it. Like I said we're trying to catch a rud so I'm trying to get up in water a bit. Catching roast at the minute. So keep trying and get back to it. The float just go in. Oh no, it's not. There you go. Just hooked into a nice roach. Lovely size roach, that one. Best one at day, mate. Half a pound. Done it all top to tear of it. Yeah. There you go. Probably drop it in water and lose it. Not a bad size roach that. Lovely fish. Mm. Biggest hit day up to now. There's two more lads coming down here with carping. Still a lad. There you go, as you can see, now you can see it's raining, chucking it down again. So, it's going to carry on. So, we can catch some more fish. So, we're sat here in rain. Uh, not managed to have a pike yet. Uh, got a bit of a downpour. And Kev, bless him, help me sort my umbrella out. <laughs> Very tight to me, Bob. Yeah, stand up. Can't show you Kevin because <laughs> if I turn my pole I'll go flying. <laughs> oh yeah, rain's slowing down now. Oh, I'll be unpacking my brolly to pack it back up again. <laughs> So 
So as it's been raining for quite some time now, um, <clears throat> what I've done is changed over to bread flake so I can get some of these bream. I mean, me and Kevin's having a bit of a match between us. He's had three bream, so I can't, I can't have let him beat me at the young game. So uh, I just lost a bream trying to get it on the GoPro. <laughs> Things to do for YouTube. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm at bread flake at the minute. Just while it's raining. And once it clears up again, I'll have a little bit of a freeze rod. But it seems to move down, fish have moved down onto the bottom, so I might as well try and catch a better fish. Take care of. Oh, yes. Get this. Got myself a rod. There you go, it's a rod. It's the first one I've had all day. See the bottom lip. Extruding up. Oh. Sand still. So I've got another species. I've just caught that rod. Um, what I'm going to do now is another 10 15 minutes on uh, Magawars. And then. Uh, I think I'll fish it rest of the evening on bread trying to catch this bream so I can beat Tom Kevin. I mean, Kevin's over there, bless him. I'll show you Kevin, hang on. He's over there looking. Get away from the camera, Kev. Hang on. Hang on, mate. I don't know what's going off here. Sorry, people. Get away from the camera, Kev. Happy little Kevin over there. Oh, float's going, hang on. My float's going. I've had a rod, so I'm happy. So, uh, yeah, I've lost, I've lost three bream trying to do video recording and he's loving it, bless him. Having a bit of a match between us. So, take care all and uh, see if we catch more fish. So I've decided once I've uh, now I've got that rod to go back out. Got floating, sorry, with red flake. Kev's over there, looking a bit worried. <laughs> and uh, come back with a bream. It's been a smaller one. But I've had about three or four. But they're all dropped off. There you go. Not gonna lose him. He's probably wake up a bit. Bless him, Kev's just said, can we pack up for half an hour to an hour early? Because you see me get a bream. <laughs> <laughs> now, rain's coming off, it's going to be dark soon. Another couple of hours, so. Let's see if we can get a few more of these bream out. Now, I've done my target species. It's going to bounce it down in about 10 minutes. Let's keep putting bed flake on. And keep firing some magawars across. As I said to. Uh, Kevin, it's in the zone. You find some scud missiles across, some magawars. Keep them there. Uh, keep them feeding. See if we can get some more. It's all to play for in the final session. <laughs> oh, Kev's proper. Look at Kev now. Look. Look, proper concentrating. They get you. Look at him. Proper concentrating. He's missed it. Right, so we're still fishing on bread flake. I managed to get three bream. Kev's had three bream. And I've lost two or three trying to do videoing. So, uh, there's a bit of competition now. <laughs> so.
I didn't even feel yesterday, boy. Everybody, I go fishing with us. Gotta get him, mate. It's better than doing. I've got your own cam other camera set up for your face. <laughs> you just relax. You know, yesterday. Hang on, mate. We've got this. Kevin's okay, going to bring his in first. Right, so we're having a bit of a match. So, and away he's up, then weigh mine up, and obviously count mine back into uh, here goes, some fish there, look. Hold on, Kev. Oh, this is Kevin weighing up. What have you got, Kev? 6.5. He's a liar. 2.88. Weigh mine up. Yeah, but that them them fish I had make my thing more than my thing four pounds. What do you reckon? Three pound eight? Three nine kids fish and three three eight, three nine. Three eight. Three kids three six. Three eight. I'll have three eight. So I've got three pound eight. So well done, Kev. Nice match, pop and it. Sorry, we're just trying to this first all day we're going for a pike, we've just seen a pike on edge, so right, so we're gonna put these back in and uh, start packing up. Take care of all. The fishing buddies, I've just realised I didn't camp them fish into uh, into back into the lake. Uh we're about 30 fish. So Kevin's not feeling very well, bless him. He sat down. There were, there were pike coming to the edge. And twice I tried to catch it. And uh, I got it on twice. And obviously it fell up and shot off. And a bit commotion and trying to get that bike. Been waiting all day for one. And uh, I guess I didn't count fish. So like I said, there's plenty more than 30, but I didn't come great fish. So stay tuned. Uh, like I say, another one off the road race, the rut. And uh, how many miles is it to get here from mine? Six miles? Yeah, about six mile here, six mile bike roughly. So 12 mile out the keep net. So I'll do it editor when I get back and uh, we'll see you again in the next one. Take care all. Take care. Right then fishing buddies, so uh, Kev's not feeling too well so I'm gonna get off. Um I beat him by about half a pound, didn't I? Something like that. Yeah. So like I said, we're packing up. Uh, and I've noticed the pipe we're trying to attack the keep net. Obviously we've got fish in, weighed them up and got confused trying to catch this pike. Uh, I reckon they're about 30 fish. Probably a lot more than 30, but I'll give me some 30 fish. So plenty of silvers, plenty of roach. Add that rod, so it's another one for rod race. And uh, some bream. And sadly, like I say, I hooked into that pike twice. It fell up second time round and see you later, it's gone. So thanks Kev for bringing me. And, uh, See you at the next one. Take care all. I've been doing some editing uh, the last part of this video and um, just to let you know I did check roughly. They probably were 30 fish but I'm going to give myself 20. It was my own mistake. So there was 97 miles left in the keep net minus the 6 mile travelling there and back and then that leaves us uh, 105 miles left in the keep net. And like I say, another rod off rod race, off species list. So Next time I go fishing, it's probably with Phil, and I think we're going to the canal near Dolphin, and we're going to try and catch some of these Tommy Ruff. So we're going to try it down there. He's also wanting to do a bit of drop shot fishing. I've not done it for quite some time, so I will be going down to a place called Nails Up and trying down there. I've been trying all different things. So stay tuned, and thanks for support, and see you again. I'd just like to give a big shout out to the uh, lad who was doing the free downloaded music. Uh, thanks ever so much. I will be leaving a link in the description below. Thank you very much. Please check him out. He's got plenty of tracks. Thank you again. So I'd like to say a massive shout out to Darren from South Shields. All seasons sea fishing. Great guy he is. So please check his channel out, I will be leaving the description below. Also Tackling Minds, uh, Dave Lyons is the co-founder and 
New Beginnings Fishing, my own Facebook group. I'll be leaving the description and link below to all of them. Now I'd like to say a bit of stuff about these tackling mines. Um, I'm loving the group that they've got. I want to join the group. There's quite a lot of people that's in it. And obviously people struggle with anxiety and depression and mental health. Same as I do myself. At times it can be really hard. So please check out this group. Awesome job that the guy's doing. They're going around to ponds and chatting away to people and doing what they're doing. And uh, doing an amazing job helping people from all walks of life. I mean, fishing's, as I say, it's not just a sport, it's a way of life. So it's an easy way to get away from everything and keep his mind going and doing what we're doing. So thanks ever so much. Uh, I'd also like to thank everybody who was on my group, uh, everybody who's subscribed, all my fishing buddies and everything else. Massive thanks to everybody for your support. At times it's not been easy, but we're getting there and uh, we're getting there in the end. So just a massive thank you to everybody. Don't forget to become a fishing buddy because every 100 subscribers we will be having a prize giveaway and uh, we'll make sure that it's drawn out at that and uh, it gets to yourself. So I'd just like to say a massive thanks to everybody for all your support and everything else and uh, just stay tuned and we'll see what we're doing next week or week after when we're fishing. So thanks again everybody, massive thanks to everybody for everything. So thank you and take care and wait to see what is on the next video. Thanks again.